million times. Don't let Babylon break you. Don't let them break your soul. In time, in time, stay woke, it's going down. Yeah. We gonna wake up the tribes. How is willing. what you cooking? Last days. About to wake up the tribe. Armageddon at the doorstep. Stay woke, it's going down. Babylon trying to break me. I need the Holy Spirit right now. We about to wake up the tribes. Spare not cry loud. Yeah, yeah. We about to wake up the tribes. In time, in time. Stay woke, it's going down. Babylon trying to break my soul. Holy Spirit, come down. We about to wake up the tribes. Spare not cry loud. Yeah. We about to wake up the tribes. We in the truth, now they scared of us. They knew that Jacob would ride. Hey, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Just about to go live really quick. Wanted to do a quick video um, before the Shabbat. You know, probably just share what's on my mind and what may be on the mind of you watching this video. Um, wanted to do um, some words of encouragement and just uh, shed some light on, you know, my views on what's taking place in society right now and, you know, how to really be ahead of the curve when it comes down to... Um, what's around us. So, uh, you know, shalom to you, and I'm gonna wait till a few people get on, then I'm gonna get going, all right? So, uh, I pray that all of you have been blessed, and you guys have been this, um, been um, wise as a serpent, and harmless as a dove, taking a look at what's really going on around here, and um, giving things a chance to mull over. You know, it's we have to let things take its time and its course to really, really pay attention to what's really happening around us. So uh, it's my prayer that um, all of you are uh, in good health, you're in good spirits, but most of all, you're in good standing with the Most High. Um, um, this journey that we're on, you know, you have to keep in mind that um, everyone's not privy to be on this journey. Um, when we take in consideration as to who we are and what it is we've been called to do, Every nation has been given this call, so um, we have to be very careful not to take it for granted um, or take advantage of these things that uh, um, that are before us and things are yet to come. So I um, want to do a quick video and, you know, maybe interact with some of you out there, see how everything is going, and maybe you could uh, shed a light on uh, different things. Yeah. Some stuff on your face. It's okay. Just grab it. You'll see it in the mirror. Yeah. So I just wanted to say, how, how's everyone doing? Pray all is well. Um, this, uh, you know, it's been crazy ever since. I think really got crazy back in March. But uh, I wanted to really just uh, share what's on my mind to all of you that are out there that are, you know, just putting your two cents in as well what's going on in society and certain things that we don't want to lose focus of you know it's really key for us to lose focus on um on things that we need to be paying attention to in our life you know and so anyway um <clears throat> as you can see different parts of society um is really doing their best to um, calm the storm down. You know, they're really trying their best to hinder the uprising of the Hebrews. Um, and we have to understand that what's happened in the past is what's happening here in the future. And that's really the changing of the guard. You know, it's time for um, our people to awaken um, to who they are and to the identity and to our our uh, our position in this world and it takes time you know and I think one of the things that uh, our people have a hard time with is time you know when it comes down to uh, being patient and understanding that um, there's different things that's going to happen in the physical realm that we'll be able to see that we have to let it pay it play its course you know and so um, I wanted to offer some wisdom and encouragement to those of you out there that are um, really trying to um, figure out what your next move is gonna be, you know? And so um, my family and I myself, we're just 
we got our hands to the plow, you know, and we're staying focused in the areas of our life that's um, that's most important, you know, and that's where we have to, um, excuse me here, prioritize, you know, what's most important in our lives. So anyway, I think the other day, a couple of days ago, Ice Cube was on his Twitter page shouting out the Israelites, you know, and it doesn't mean that um, that Ice Cube is claiming to be an Israelite, but he's shining a light on who the Israelites are. And for a man to have a stage of 5 million subscribers, he got 5 million subscribers on his page, whenever you communicate, that goes a long way. You know, that's a way of, that's a channel for the truth to go a certain direction. And um, all of us in the Hebrew Israelite community, those of us who have awakened to our heritage, you know, we would take pride in that, you know, and <clears throat> we have to remember that, you know, everyone's not going to agree with the awakening. Everyone's not going to embrace the awakening, but um, it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight. And they're trying their best to discourage us by killing our people. See, what the enemy knows is that they can't kill all of us at the same time. There's no possible way. Um, and they understand what tribe we're from. They understand that we're the warrior tribe. They know that we're the priest. We're the king <clears throat> warrior tribe. And um, that warrior tribe is something that um, it scares our captors, believe it or not. You follow me? <clears throat> believe it or not. <laughs> I think I'm going to post this too. But believe it or not, man, those who we call our enemy are more scared than we are. You follow me? And we have to really understand that, uh, you know, there's something about us that we didn't know about ourselves. You know, that they've done their research on. And uh, they know once we really fully embrace who we are, it's a wrap, you know, and um, they know, but, but they also know that if they keep confusion in the camp, if they keep us confused and fighting each other, that uh, it's, it's, it, it'll, it'll do them good. So my point basically I'm making is, you know, the reason why you don't see me protesting, the reason why you don't see me marching out in the streets, reason why you don't see me talking about black is because you know and I don't try to disrespect people who do when I was younger in my truth I used to get offended by stuff but you can't get offended by somebody else's ignorance you know that's a good post right there you cannot get offended by somebody else's ignorance Shabbat Shalom Eric how you doing Shabbat Shalom Dawid how are you David um, yeah they have been lying to us from the start absolutely but you can't get offended by somebody else's ignorance. That is a post. You can't get offended. And that is hard because most of the people who are ignorant are people we know. I mean, heck, we, we were ignorant. And we still are ignorant in a lot of ways. You feel me? So we have to control our, our, our emotions when it comes down to um, everything that's around us. You know, ignorance can really offend you especially when you're a passionate people like us see our people are highly emotional and highly passionate everybody know when we turn up we turn we turn up a thousand we don't believe in turning up four or five notches if i got to turn up i got to turn up extra our people have turned up extra and everything we do whether it's sports it's partying if it's fighting, if it's if it's our ability, we turn up extra. And when we turn up and we excel, we outdo the rest for the most part. So we got to be careful during this time. We got to be very, very careful during this time that we don't fall ourselves. We don't we don't allow ourselves to fall into the black conversation, the black conversation. You may be asking me, well, what's the black conversation? It's the label they put on us. Get it, and I understand that many of our people believe that if we keep raising 
the black issue that it would be some type of justification. The scriptures let us know that this nation ain't about the, they ain't about the, <laughs> they ain't about the budge. The captors are not about to give their slaves any edge on their power. So we have to get back to who we really are. The more you keep calling yourself black, the more they go treat you black. The more you call yourself, uh, the more you call yourself African American, the more you treat yourself African American. We got to have an identity, a nation identity, because we can't go to the country, the United States of black. We can't. We can't go to a country with the United States of black where everything is originated by us. We don't have a place for that. But we can, we can fall in line with the most high who never wanted us to have a king in the first place. We can fall in line with him and he can bring our nation back. But our people don't want to trust in the most high. We'll trust in movements. We'll trust in protests. We'll trust in politics. We'll trust in politicians. We'll trust in man-made laws. We had come up with man-made ideas, but we won't trust in Yah. And that's been our downfall. That has been our vice. That has been our Achilles heel. We won't trust in Yah. But when we do trust in Yah, these are the times when we will understand that we're more than just black. We're more than just hip hop. We're more than just, you know, um, who they call us. See, you got to remember, Scripture tells us that we will be a byword. We are more than just a byword. And once we see ourselves beyond a byword, that is when we'll have the power to build from within. See, because right now, our people are, are, are think, think that money, our people think that money is what's going to uh, solve the problem. You know, reparations, 14 trillion, 20 trillion. <laughs> you can have all the money in the world and still be in captivity. You could be a wealthy nation and still be under the enemy's rule. The key is our people don't know that we ruled the world at one point. And we, we have not figured out or they're not spending time to figure out how do we lose our power. How do we lose our identity? How do we lose our position? So the reason why I don't support black dollars is because there is no such thing as a black dollar. And I did a video on this about a year and a half ago. And, and I'm going to explain myself in a minute why there's no black dollar. <sighs> the actual fact that we're saying black and dollar... It's two make-believe things. See, the financial system is on the uh, fiat system. Now, y'all know fiat is fake money. You feel me? So we, wanna, we, we desire to be on a system of fake money. Now, how does that sound? So here it is. We want to support the black dollar. Both of them are fake. Black is not a nation. Your lineage, your bloodline determines your nation. And we have had our identity stolen. So our nation's name of Israel isn't a place, it's a people. And once we embrace our Israelite heritage, that's, that ties to an a, 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 a inheritance. So as long as we're not putting Yah in it, there is no, there is no um, compensation for that. So what happens is we're calling on their God. Their God is money. Their God is mammon. You understand? Scripture, uh, Yehoshua says, you can only, no man can serve two masters. Either you go serve Yehoah or you can serve mammon. Our people is calling on mammon. You get it? We want money. Give us reparations. Uh, we need this. We need that. And we're getting all hype. And we think that violence is going to solve it. And these are the people who created the H-bomb, the A-bomb, they got missile, heat-seeking missiles. They got drones that could shoot you from three miles away. And you think that just because you burned down a few buildings that they about to budge. Man, come on. The black man, the melanated people are the commodity. 
we are on, we were the ones traded on Wall Street first. We were the ones bond. That's why he said bond woman, bond servant. Why do you think it's called stocks and bonds? We were bonded first. <laughs> we were bonded first. We are the greatest commodity. And we have given them our loyalty. So number one, in times like these, we have to understand that if we want to create a nation, then we have to escape from the nation first. We can't say, let's build a kingdom in America when this is not our kingdom. We have to already understand what the kingdom possess, and that possesses our brother and our sister. Yehoshua was, was so upset when he showed up. How horrible the brothers and sisters were treating each other. Yehoshua was so saddened on how the kingdoms were divided and the, the, the corruption in the priesthood and the corruption uh, through the governments was just, was just was horrible. He was, he was hurt by that. And so the number one thing Yehoshua wants the, is what the Most High wants, and that's for us to be brothers and sisters again, not on the term of black. Because that's not who the Most High called us to be. I don't care who you follow. I don't care who you, who you listen to. I don't care what church you go to. Listen to me. You got to pull out all that religion. You got to pull out the holidays. You got to out, pull out the titles. You have to understand who you are. And when you find out who you are, then you start to behave different. Behaving like you black, what black people want? They want money. Well, who control the money? It ain't black people. So this is why I don't support the black dollar. Money is generated from somewhere. It's traded. It's digital. It's crypto. It's, it's created, whatever, whatever. The people pushing the button don't look like me. And the people saying yes and no to everything that make it up and down don't look like me. You understand? So whether I spend my dollar in an all-black community, that money is going to generate in the same system of the people pushing the buttons. It doesn't matter where you spend the money. It's going to touch the hands of those who got you in captivity, period. Because you're in the system. It's almost like saying, all right, all right, um, you know, <laughs> something simple like, you know, Let's say you're a browser, right? Let's say you're Firefox. You, you're Firefox, you know, and I'm Internet Explorer. And you're like, I don't want to be a browser no more. You know what I mean? I'm, I want to be the, the black browser. You know, I'm tired of these people using me on the computer. I'm tired of these people using me like that. So I'm going to move from being Internet Explorer to Chrome. You're still a browser. And the same people pushing the keys is still pushing their keys on your search engine. So my point to all my brothers and sisters is you got to get your mind off the money, man. We made songs about mind on the money and the money on the mind. We, 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 because that's how they bred us to be through captivity. Your identity is more important than that. Your identity will tell you you better not march in those streets because ain't nobody about to save you like that. You bet not wear that T-shirt. You bet not raise that flag. You bet not put your heart on your chest because these people don't care about your crying. Matter of fact, they kill you and they, and they put on themselves not guilty. That's scripture, man. So I, I used to really go back and forth with folks, man, because of my opinions, but I, I use wisdom a lot. I'm a man of wisdom from a young age. And during this season of my life, I need it now more than ever. Why? Because I know there's an exodus coming. But exodus come to the mind first. You best believe when Moshe and Aaron was telling everybody we about to bounce, you had a high percentage of Hebrews saying, man, we ain't going nowhere. I don't know what they talking about. Man, they tripping, man. He talking to a stick, man. They talking to burning bushes. I heard that his mama was over here, gave him up, put him in the water. Man, he stayed with Pharaoh half his life. You, that's how our people get down. We about to talk about you. But the exodus, man, it's in our mind. We have to understand who we are and behave according to the master's plan. And let him work. 
as long as we keep seeking a savior outside of the most high, you're going to continue to have a rep, um, a repetitious behavior and a perpetual state of ignorance. And you will find yourself, look, missing the boat. You're going to miss the time to leave. You're going to miss the exodus because you want the same people who got you in captivity to set you free, to save you. The ones who gave you false religion, false education, false money, false identity. These people renamed you. They gave you different money. They gave you different culture. They, gave, they took the culture you came up with. They, they, and you're telling me that all we have to do is act black. The same fake title that they gave us that started way back in the Spanish Inquisition. Where do you think Negro came from? That's Spanish. Where do you think they came up with more? That's all that means black. Our bywords came when we got out of Jerusalem. They started by because they, they had to put a label on us. So when the northern kingdom, when the northern kingdom went all up into Europe, northern Africa, going into China, all in those areas, they gave us bywords. So that's why some people say I'm more. Some people say I'm Hebrew. Some people I'm saying they got these different I'm Spanish, I'm Negro, whatever different names. They, because we were all one 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 people. But when we got divided, when we got divided, our name changed. That's deep, boy. That's so deep. When we got, when we were divided is when our name changed. So what do you think happens when we come together? We have to come together under one name and it can't be black. I got to remind myself to post that statement. We cannot come together under one name, under our title. We have to come together under the name of Israel. I don't care what them fake Jews think. I don't care about anti-Semitism. I don't care about who get mad. We have to stand up for the truth under the most high Yah and let him be the judge. Let him lead the way. Let him pay 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 the pay the pay pay the piper them people for what they're doing, doing to us. He is the judge. Because look. Here, here's the cold part people don't get. This is their system. They can make the rules. They can change the rules. They can ignore the rules. They can slide the rules. They can forget the rules. They can do whatever they want to because this is their rules. And if you think that just because you're crying or just because somebody died, you're about to change all their rules and they're about to give you rulership. Man, you're crazy. Crazy, man. Who's all on here? I'm going to keep on going here in a minute. All praises to the most high. Hey, everybody, how you doing? Just seeing who's all on. But I just, I just wanted to just share that, man, because look, you know, we really have to, uh, in times like these, I pray that this video gets out. And maybe not. You know, uh, other people probably preaching on it too, but once we give them back the title black, once we give them back that title, that byword, once we give them back black, once we give them back the hella days, once we give all that stuff back, the stuff they put on us. Black is a form of bondage. We're the only people that can't name a physical place on Yah's earth and say that's our land specifically. We're the only people that can't do that. They can give you Social Security. They can give you welfare. They can give you all kind of scholarships. They can give you information about, you know, the fake moon landing. They can give you information about this fake space when it's a firmament above us. They can give you uh, information about everything. Dinosaurs. They can give you information about, you know, the, f I don't know. But they can't give you information on where the heck you're from. Now, isn't that a dink? 
Isn't that just, how did that happen? So everybody know everything except about where are these black people from? Because we're black, we could be from anywhere. But see, when you claim your heritage, now you got to fight. Because there's no way those who have falsely taken our position uh, in society, forget the land, I'm talking about on this earth, they can't defend the truth because they're liars. And our people are so sleep and have been so deceived that the truth can be right in front of them. And they won't even know it's the truth. We got to pray for our brothers and sisters, y'all. We really do. And the reason why I'm saying this is because my wife and I, we were um, a few Shabbats ago, we were talking about being a miracle. How to be a miracle in people in people's lives, you know, and how we should really live our life asking the most high to be a blessing to our brothers and sisters. Because you never know who need a blessing. You never know who need a blessing, man. You never know who need a miracle. And we were reading last week how when Yehoshua healed um, the blind man on the Shabbat. And, uh, and um, he asked the guy a question. And I was trying to, we really broke it down last week. But he asked, he said, do you really think I can do this? You think I can heal you? And so he was like, touched his eyes and said, okay. By your faith, according to your faith, be healed. According to your faith, be healed. And it's funny because I really believe that that man had already had the ability to see. But because of so much death and so many lies and deception and so much hatred toward the brethren and so much neglect from the priest and so many things in society that have weighed upon this man's life and he had an ailment that nobody's seen. Here he is going to the synagogue, Shabbat after Shabbat after Shabbat after Shabbat, and no one's paying him any attention. No one's being their brother's keeper. No one's trying to help the people that they say they love and they know. No one's trying to be there for one another to where a person who can really see, actually can really see, has a mental condition now that they think they're blind. And because his perception of Yehoshua was that of a miracle worker, the ability that was in him was actually the, the thing that he had to believe most than the actual ability to see. So here it is. Here we are. We think that somebody got to come give us a letter, a certified letter notarized with cosigners, with applications and all kind of certified mail. We think we need that. In order for us to believe who we are. See, you get what I'm saying? Yehoshua showed up during a time when the whole kingdom was split. There were captives. They were, they were not the kingdom that Dawid had. They weren't even that kingdom. So they fell from grace. They fell from who they really are and the power that worked in them and worked when they worked together. And that's where we are now. Our people... We, they think they have liberty, but they're still begging. Man, that's deep too, man. I got to post that one too. How can you think you have liberty when you're still begging for crumbs? It don't make any sense. Huh? It don't make any sense. You know, and, and, and I no longer have anxiety, praise y'all, because young men like myself and other guys and even older men, you know, we want to have, live a life where it means something. You know, we go out, we want to go out for something that, you know, that we believe in and that we're going to give our life for. And uh, we, so we have a, a intense passion for our people and we want to do things and make a difference. But you cannot make a difference in someone else's life who don't see the difference. You get it? And that's where... It's an individual walk. We have to embrace who we are and we're not black people. That's the most condescending word to say. But we're so comfortable with everything. We're so comfortable saying it even to other races. 
That's not who we are. The most high don't see black people. That's, boy, that's a cold-blooded statement right there, boy. The most high don't see black people. He see Israelites. He see Amorites. He see Moabites. Why? Because it's a bloodline. It's still a bloodline. They didn't eradicate all the human race and come up with new people on this earth. No, the same people who were in ancient times had children, children had children, and they still ites in the eyes of the Most High. Why? Because he named them. He named them. So we are ites. We are a people who embraced Islam, who embraced Christianity, who embraced uh, Catholicism, who embraced it, but who we are by blood? By blood? Come on, man, we're descendants. We're descendants because we fit the scripture. We fit the curses. We fit the identity of the book. Not by what our cap who our captors say we are. You think your captors are gonna tell you you guys are the greatest tribe on earth? You think your captors are gonna tell you you guys are the greatest warrior tribe that we took in and we renamed and we emasculated and we raped and we killed and we we kidnapped and we sold and we sold and we sold. You think that they're gonna say you guys are the greatest tribe and we put new people in your land in 1948 to take your identity? You think they're going to admit that, man? You ain't going to say nothing. They're not going to say anything. So what we have to do, we have to get back to the truth of who we know we are and stop playing and, 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 and dibble-dabbling around and act like we got all the time in the world. If you've heard the truth, and you know, and you can read the commandments of the Most High. You better be reading the commandments, man. You better be honoring the Shabbat. You better try your best to find out when the feast days are. Why? People are like, well, we don't have to keep the feast until, and we should. Okay, don't do it. Because, you know, there's always somebody that, that's who our people are. There's always one, somebody in our people always trying to be the one to say what we can't do. Okay, well, when Daddy get home with the belt. I need you to keep that same energy. Holla at him about that. I'm going to do the extra, even if you think I shouldn't be doing it. Because you didn't write the rules. And you misunderstand daddy rules. And I ain't getting in trouble for you. So I'm going to do what I'm the most high told me to do. And you, but you're not listening because you think you know more than daddy. Okay, cool. Well, when he get the belt, if he's looking for the belt, I'm going to find it for him. Because I think I know where it's at. And I'm going to make sure he have it. A couple of them. We go wet it real good. And then you repeat that to him when he well up on you. You understand me? I don't got time to argue with nobody. Me, my wife, and my kids. We're keeping the commandments. Period. And when the Most High speak to us in our dreams. And people don't even get it. They, and it's, it's sort of sad, man. Because you realize people didn't never read the Bible. Our prophets were spoke to. By the Most High in their sleep. <laughs> in their conscience. In their um, meditation. For the most part. But most people who've been in church, even preachers don't even take that in consideration. And ever since we woke up to the truth, man, me, my wife, and my kids, we have dreamed so many dreams of the Most High speaking to us about people and places and things. And I swear, we'll have a dream about somebody. Boom, lo and behold, like the day or day after that or something in that week, something that happened involving that person. We have, we have been having, we have so many dreams. We can't even keep up with it. My wife, she has a dream book. She put in all her prophecies in a dream book. She didn't have all kind of dreams that came to pass. We don't go on Facebook trying to be extra prophets and try to get some kind of, no. He talked to our ancestors. And if you don't believe that, then you, those are probably not your ancestors. You probably got some different ancestors. Because y'all not talking to you. And just because he don't talk to you, don't mean he don't talk to me. And he talked to a gang of us. That's the, that's the vein we need to be in. You feel me? That's, that's what we need to be. We need to be in tune, in frequency with the Most High, 
So we know what we need to be doing and what we shouldn't be doing and who we should be around and who we should not be around. You know, we got to be able to re-engage ourselves to be available and willing, a willing vessel to be, like I said, a miracle to your brothers and sisters. We have to help our people. And our, our, yeah, helping our people with money is fine, but it's, 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 it's something like this. It's like when you develop a conscience of making yourself available to help your brother and sister in need without them knowing, that's called a miracle. That is called a miracle. When you do something and you got to post it, you got to make a video about it. You know, you got to put an extra thousand on it. You know, you got (sighs) to figure out how many likes and hearts you can get off of it. You got your reward. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when a little extra came in and for some reason you get a phone call from a friend or a family member who's struggling, but they're not asking you for nothing. They need your advice, but they ain't asking you for nothing. And you can feel in your spirit and you can feel in your heart of hearts that that person needs help. And right now in their life, they may be looking and pleading for a miracle, but they just don't know how to ask. Now, let me tell you something. When you see that there's somebody out there that can help you, Sometimes it takes a lot of pride. A lot of people have a lot of pride to even ask for help. It takes a lot to buckle down and say, man, boy, if I, an extra $40 can be real cool right now. Or, man, my kids ain't even got no toilet paper or whatever. You don't know what people are going through. You don't know. But I know I'm not the only person that sometimes you feel it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You be like, man, I've. I just feel something, man. I got to go. Let me go run over here real quick and just whoop, whoop. And, 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 and nine times out of ten, you on point. Like, man, I knew something wasn't right. You know what I mean? And we're people like that. We are people like that. We do that all the time. So you got to pay attention to that part to be a miracle. Why? Because the Most High will bless you to be a blessing to other people. And, man, we're a living testimony of that. You know, I, I chased money in my life before. And I made some good money. And I seen where that got me. Boy, you lose some money, you losing friends. <laughs> or people you thought was friends. You, you lose a dollar, boy, it's, it changes your whole image. You feel me? And I asked the most high, even when I lost everything, and even a relationship I was in at the time, I was like, man, the next time I come up most high, I want to do it your way. I want to be serving you, and this time, I'm standing on top of the mountain, and I'm going to make sure I'm a blessing to everybody who you call me to be a blessing to, and that's what this is about. That's what this is about, so we got to pull ourselves away from getting caught up in the riffraff and all the extra talking right now. We got to we gotta pull ourselves away from the masses. You got to look at it from a distance. See, that's the key. It's like with everything going on, the exaggerating with the COVID and the exaggerating with the riots and exaggerating with the elections, I'm like, you really got to just, let me just pull in really quick. It's way too much extra going on right now. When you, when you, knew, when you do that, then you can see things and people for what it really is and who they really are. You know, you really need to be able to have that ability to pull and don't make any sudden moves. Watch everything you say and stay stay unwavering. Don't be a double-minded man. Don't be unstable. Be someone, Sorry, my internet went out a little bit, but be someone who's stable. You feel me? Be someone who is like, you know, I'm going to stay I'm going to stay focused. I'm going to stay on point. I'm going to do what I need to do and get myself together. And these are the things that you know, we need to be able to um, to do during this time. But first thing first, man, stop calling yourself black. You understand? It's the most 
Yeah, I know we day to day. We got to fill out the application. Okay, I'm black. Yeah, okay. Uh, what, what are your class? Okay, you're black. You guys put that slave title on me. And they're going to keep on treating you like your slave title as long as you keep on fighting for your slave title. You keep fighting for that slave title because people are scared to give you that little piece of idolatry. The biggest form of idolatry, man, I got to make sure I post this on my page, is the title they gave us. They, we hold on to that name black boy like we, like it's, like it's a country. Like we could go catch a man, I need to take a round trip flight to black, I'm going to head back to blacktopia, then I'm going to go to black Francisco, uh, then I'm going to head over to black Lana. Then I'm going down to Black Texas and and head back on over to Black Canada and you know to all the black uh the black. Come on, man, where's that at? You you claiming black as if though it's it's a place that you can literally drop me out down to Black last week, man. I've seen about fifteen hundred of them over there off of Black Street, man. I'm I'm going right back over to Black next week, man. Look, what's the name still stuck? At? Can you go around there and pick? He down in Black. Yeah, go down to Black. Matter of fact, I'm going to come down with you to black because my auntie down there, she ain't left since she's been born. Man, come on. Ain't nobody out there in black. Ain't no such thing. But you fighting for it. Black lives matter. No. Israelites. <laughs> That's how you become a nation is when you stand up for your bloodline. That's You don't hear it. Listen to me. Even with Native Americans. They're like, look, yeah, we're Native Americans, but let me specify who I am. I'm Cherokee. Yeah. Let me show you the areas of Cherokee land. Cherokee was here. This is Cherokee land. Cherokee is connected to a people who live at a certain place. What do you mean? So I got Cherokee in me. Oh, Cherokee. Well, I'm black. Where's that at? Man, let's go. If you go over there down, what's the name of the street? Turn on. Good, take turn left, go all the way down. You go hit, um, you know, that one grocery store, uh, Keisha used to have back in the 60s. Yeah, man, pass that up. You go over the bridge, you're gonna go down to another light that broke. So hit the stop sign, make a right, and go on down, catch the ferry, cross over the river, and black is right there. Stop exaggerating. Ain't no place called black. Why you lying? Ain't no such thing as black, but black lives matter. They want you to continue to fight for black because they can control you with black. Ooh, that's good, man. Somebody got to put that in my comments. Whew. Put this in my comments, please, somebody. Man, the longer you fight for black is the longer they going to control you with black, with being black. Oh, that is this. Man, that's it right there. That's why I'm not going to do no black. No, 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 no. I'm not black. Mm-mm. The power that's in me ain't black. No, the gifts and talents in me is supernatural. It came from something out of this earth. It didn't come from a created word from another nation who had me in captivity. No, I ain't black. Stop calling me black. We go, we're before the Moors. We're before the Negroes. We're before the African-American, the Afro-American, the niggas, the niggas, whatever you want to call it. We before all that. Don't get it twisted. Don't look at my face and forget about my ancestors. You have to understand that the roots run deep. The spiritual roots of our ancestors run deep in America, even to the fake preachers. See, these false priests exemplified at a young age something innate inside them to want to preach. I was one of them. I was like 19, 20. I wanted to preach, but I didn't have the truth. Millions of young black men feel that way. And then growing up in the church system, you had elders and older people who were deacons and trustees and all this other kind of stuff that you desire to be like. So we bred it just like the Israelites, the Levites. Right. But it was a janky system. So you had homosexuals, you had whoremongers, you had whores, you had everything. And you became one of those same kind of people because you was in false doctrine. So that desire to tell the truth, the desire to be close to, quote unquote, God, 
to get close to God is in us. We're the only nation that will sing to God and make you cry. We're the only nation that can sing about a woman and a man and make you cry. We're the only nation that a boy, you preach, hear a preacher preach will make you want to tell everything you did last night. We're the only people that charismatic about scripture to remember the whole text and be as false doctrine as you can think. But you know what? Now that we in the truth, man, see now this is the part I got to sit up on right here. Now that we are in the truth, we got Hebrew Israelites on street corners, on videos, at the house. Man, we on we take we 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 having feasts, we having Shabbat. We are embracing who we are, but we haven't let go of black. We have to choose. Remember, y'all, black is connected to money. Get it? We don't control the money. Ain't no black dollar. Ain't no black dollar. Give me one dollar. No. Black dollar. No. There's no black dollar. There's no black dollar. Black's connected to money. That's mammon. But Israel is connected to Yah. Now peep that. Let me just let that sit a little bit. Black is connected to the money they control. That's why they write the rules. They play with the rules. They give bail to a guy they help murder. They put keep a guy no bail who stole some smoothies. That's their rules. They control black. They control it. Once you reject black, now you become a nation. Black is not a nation. Anybody can claim black. But when you claim a nation, you have to obey the king of that nation. And that's Yah. You best believe that. And that is what's going to help us rise in these times. In times like these, this is when you take the stand. Don't be like your neighbors. People want to break the Shabbat. Let them break the Shabbat. Because when the Most High whipped that family or whipped that man or whipped that woman, that ain't for you to jump in the way of the belt. I'm telling you right now. When the most high pull out his belt, man, my phone is off. I ain't even in the room. Like, I don't even know what happened. Like, man, who? Well, let me go talk to uh, Moshe real quick. Let me find out what's going on. Because look, the Yah's word is true. His word is not to be compromised. Once you come into the knowledge of the truth and then you disobey it, shame on you. Shame on you, man. That's why it's, a, it's the... Uh, he had to separate the wheats from the tares. You get that? He had to separate those who bought it and those who fake in the funk. You feel me? And it takes a little time. It takes a little time. That's what... See, <laughs> I thank the most high for wisdom because, because a person with wisdom learns to have patience. Just keep your mouth shut and watch. Just be like... Because everybody can run their mouth. Everybody can say anything. Just watch. Don't say nothing. Matter of fact, even the things you say you go do, don't say nothing. Just do it. Because everybody's going to show their true color to who the heck they are. And it's not up to you to try to look, to judge it or to change it. You can't do anything because you cannot judge it because it could be you. But you can definitely recognize it and come up with a judgment on how you're going to behave. Because you cannot condemn that person because you don't have the power to. But you can judge the actions of the person and say, hey, look, Ak, I see you over here breaking the Shabbat. I need you to really recognize yourself, man, because you're playing with the most high. Well, man, you know, I just had to go do something. Okay. Okay. You think this Elohim who's waking up millions of Hebrew Israelites in the last days after 400 years is playing? You think this prophecy of us waking up, I never thought, I didn't even know somebody was supposed to be waking up. And we're all waking up. And things is happening in society and in the world. You think it's a game. So I don't, I'm not trying to convince somebody anything. You just keep on playing. Period. See, it's funny how afraid we are of people. We will fear what somebody is saying without no evidence, but then won't believe the most high who has given us all the evidence in the world. 
He's written on stones, written on scrolls. He put it all in his food. He put it in the earth. He put it in us. He put the truth everywhere, but we won't believe the most high, but we'll play with him. But when man, when man say don't do something, oh, man, I can't go over there, man. I, man, they be hemming people up down up over there. Where you were? Where they be hemming people up at? Man, over down in black. Man, I was down in black last week. Man, they had about uh, three fish, fr- fish fries down there on Black City Row. You know, over there by uh, Janie House. Yeah, over there in black. Man, I was over there, man, and I, I ain't messing with them folks over there, man. I think I'm going to stay in American. Now, let me stop. <laughs> playing so much. Well, you get my drift, right? So my point is, in times like these, pay close attention to everybody. Because you get to see the movement of your people. And when you see how they move, you start realizing that's how they've always moved. When you see the sh- people move and synchronize, and you see the strings, and then you see the puppet master, you see how the puppet master is moving your strings, moving the strings of your people, and you don't want to have a string connected to you. We have to cut the strings of captivity. Now, I know a lot of folks don't like hearing spiritual things, but I don't care what people like or don't like. You need to recognize it. And the only reason why people don't like it is because they're ignorant to it. And when you're ignorant, you take the shortest road. You take the shortest road. You feel me? Like, man, I'm about to walk way down there. Let me just cross over right here. And you don't get nowhere because you don't cross the deep. When you take the long road, you're able to... Cross the long bridge that's down the road. Take the short road. You The shortcut, you're not really getting anywhere. So those are the things that people are afraid of. They're afraid of truth. They're afraid of it. It's in their face. But their tongues won't allow them to, to admit it. Because of the stiff nakedness from their bloodline. The most high say, you guys are stiff naked. You guys will not. You could, The most high could show up. Bronze feet, hair full of wool, white as wool, eyes bloodshot red, chariots all in the sky. Man, that ain't your whole sure. How else you think you coming? Abracadabra? It's a firmament up there. Ain't nobody getting in or out of there unless your whole say so. So anyway, it's almost a Shabbat, you know, and uh you know, I, I, I'm i grateful, you know what I'm saying, um, content, but man, I'm focused, boy, I'm not playing, I'm so I'm not playing, and uh, number one, I want to love my brother and my sister, and who is my brother and who is my sister, Yehoshua said it best, those who who are doing the will of my father. Those who do the will of my father. That is my brother. Keith was like, man, your mama and your brother at the door. He was like, who my mama and my brother? You don't know me like that. My mama and my brother are the ones that are doing the will of the father. That's my mama and my brother. And we have to understand that that book was written by Hebrew Israelites for Hebrew Israelites to help us understand that, look, the way you are a family is the way you obey the Father. That's how you're family. We were family by how your Jacob obeyed. <laughs> how Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob obeyed. So the Most High blessed his family. You understand? So we have to understand, listen, that uh, that's how it comes. You feel me? We have to obey the Most High, man. He said, look, man, those who keep who, those who obey my father, man, that's my, that's my, that's my mama and my brother. You talking about? 
It's deeper than just blood. my relatives. I know who my mama is, but let me tell you who my family is, though. Because everybody that's a relative don't want to please ya. See, and that's that's hard for our people, man, because we like, man, okay, if I start keeping the Shabbat, what's my brother go think? You know, what's my cousin go think? What my mama go think? I, she didn't raise me like that, man. We grew up in church our whole life. I was in the choir. I was an usher, man. I was on such and such board. I was doing this, this, and that. Nobody asked you about your credentials. If you hear the truth and you reject it, shame on you. You will always operate in confusion and ain't nothing ever going to change for you. He who the sun sets free. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. And the way that even manifests is by the one who's in bondage. A person got to want to be free, man. So many other slaves couldn't have been free. Well, Harriet Tubman said, man, they, but they didn't even know they were slaves. <laughs> I'm like, goodness gracious. So he who the son says free is free indeed. Freedom is for those who don't want to be in bondage. I'm not in bondage to black. Nah, man. I was black too long in my life. And these people look at me like I'm black. But once they find I'm a Hebrew Israelite, now you got to look at me a different way. You don't even know how to look at me now. When we go places, man, we be having our tassels and our uh, zeet zeets. <laughs> It'd be funny. We be having hats on that say yah on it. And we be out here, got our Hebrew on our tongues. We can speak Hebrew and say certain things to each other. And everybody looking at us like, what is it? Yeah. Because you can't treat me black no more. Oh, what you doing on Saturday? What you talking about? I'm an Israelite. I keep Shabbat. What kind of question is that? Oh, what you doing for Christmas? Christmas? That pagan holiday? Don't you know I'm a Hebrew Israelite? Do I look black to you? Do I look like I'm from the country of black? Do I look black? I'm a, I'm royalty. What you talking about? You know my folks. Yehoshua. Elisha. Nehemiah. Ze Zephaniah, Jeremiah, come on. You, you don't know them? Come on, man. He's Moshe, Aaron, Abraham, Isaac, you don't know them? Yeah, you do. That's me. So read about them and you go know about me. I ain't black. They wasn't black. They were ites. You feel me? Yeah, the skin color. Became a byword, and everybody in the Bible was black. But they didn't say go to the black, the black eyed tribe. Okay, so black eyed tribe drove down. They rolled down to the other black eyed tribe. Then they went down to the other black eyed tribe that was up north, and all the black eyed tribes, the black tribes fought. You sound ridiculous. No, it was the <laughs> Edomites, the Israelites, Moabites. Amorite, Jebusites, come on, the Ites, who we weren't black. We need to find a person. Hey, who's the first person said we black? Can you f call them for me real quick? Oh, they they took a flight to the country black. Okay, give me a ticket because I'm on my way. I need to talk to him. Ain't no such thing. You feel me? It ain't no place. It ain't nothing called black. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. And I ain't ashamed to say it. And until you acknowledge that, we ain't got no words. Voting system, census, what's that? No. What you talking about? I'm going to give Caesar his due, which is taxes. And besides that, you don't need nothing from me. Because you stole my identity. And until you get my name right, we ain't got nothing to say and talk about. Matter of fact, my faith don't come. Listen. My faith don't come from you. My help, listen. <laughs> I'm just like Dawid. Listen. I look to the hills from which cometh my help. Why? Because all, all my help come from Yahweh. Yahweh. All my help come from Yah. 
I don't need you. I don't need your money. I don't need your reparations. Matter of fact, I need you to get out my way because all my people still think they black and I got to tell them they ain't black. And because they're ignorant, they're going to look at me crazy. So I got a whole 45 minute spiel I got to rehearse and study for to be able to get one person to recognize, man, yeah, man, you're right. Because we're stiff necked people. And once we break the stiff neck, then we will see. We are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, a peculiar people. We are the sons of Elohim. Hallelujah. Once we get to that point, we got to remove black. Out here marching in the streets like we about to start singing swing low, sweet chariot. Like we got sacks full of cotton. Like we got to over. We got we marching down Egypt's road to Pharaoh's palace. As if though, he's about to say, man, you right, man. My bad. I should have never picked you up from the country black. Matter of fact, we about to get all black jets and fly all y'all back to the country of black. Have a black life. It ain't about to happen. Anybody doing nothing for black? For black? That's the problem. So let's, let's bounce from that, man. Let's do as much as we can to just stay, try to try our best. Nah, I'm moving away from black, man. Mm -mm. I ain't African American. I ain't no Christian. I ain't no Muslim. No. I'm a descendant. If anything, you want to change your work? Call me a descendant of the Israelites. Yeah, I got to add Israelite in there because I don't want you saying I'm a descendant of black. People should be able to look at us and say, no, 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 he's not black. What is he? He's an Israelite. Black is a color. Israelite, Israelite is a nation of people who were dragged, pulled, raped from the slave ships, beaten to a pulp, and told them, your name is not Yerim Yahu no more. No, 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 no. Elijah, no, shut up. That's not your name. Your name's John. How's that sound? You like that? They got any Johns in black in the country black? Yeah, yeah, you're John. That, that's, that's your name. You're John. You're Toby. They got any Tobys over there in Black City? You know, they got nothing over there in Black, Black York City. No, they got nothing over there. Okay, good. You're Toby. You can take your Peter back. You can take your Toby back. Your Tom, Robert. You can take it all back. Why? Because you put that on top of black. And we have been behaving the names and the titles they gave us. See what I'm saying? Get it? We have to, in order to change the future, we got to go all the way back to the beginning. With the, see, you heard the D in there? To the beginning. Got to go back to the beginning. And we got to make right at the beginning first. In order for us to move forward. Yeah, no. Nah. Let me give you an example. My sons, they be, hey, dad, can I, can we go? Like, okay, I, I know you want to go somewhere. But before you ask anything, you know, I want to go on up in that room. You might want to go on and check out all your chores. There's some unsettled items before you can move forward. You follow me? There's some unsettled things. You need to make right first before you can go anywhere. And before our people can get anything from anybody, we got to make things right with y'all first. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. So anyway, not sure who's watching. But in times like these, man, just back up a little bit. Don't be so emotional. And so moved by what you see. Because it's your own perception 
that causes you to sit down and move. It's, it's, it's your perception of it. You can see things for what it is. Oh, excuse me. You can see things for what they're trying to show you. And then you can see things for what it really is. That part that sees things for what it really is is who you need to focus on about yourself. So that means you got to probably close these ears and maybe even close these eyes a little bit and, you know, close the dough and turn off that and turn that off too and be able to get yourself in a place to where you're understanding, you, you understand what you perceive to be true. You can move in that vein or you be just like every other sheep heading to the slaughter. Yeah, I've had my share of videos blasting fake priests because... They're the ones that hold the key to the black people heart. The black people heart. So we have to fight the false priests and black people. We're like, man. And we know, we know our people. Boy, you talk about somebody preacher if you want to. Man, you could talk about somebody mama before you talk about somebody preacher. That's a fact. You call somebody mama fat. You talk about somebody, you ain't talking about my man of God. Uh, I'll cut you off, my man of God, boy. He anointed. Man, he done slept with all the women in the church, but he's still anointed. Yeah, he anointed with some daggone. Anyway. Anyway, uh, how everybody doing? Who's all on here? Andre, Aaron, how y'all doing, Pam? How you doing? Shabbat Shalom, Shalanda. I think I see my wife on here earlier. Uh. I know my wife, she always checks me out. There she go. Hey, sweetheart, how you doing? That's my baby right there, man. It's a wonderful woman. So anyway, um, I want y'all to really just take that in consideration, man. Share this video, man, and do some watch parties and stuff like that. Man, people need to hear this right here, man. Upload it. Send it somewhere. I don't know. Because look, we, we still think we black. That's the, that's the, if that ain't the okie doke, you feel me? It's like, what's the okie doke? Who, who called us black? You, you feel me? And we think we got power in that word. Cause now you notice they could tie everything to black, trans black, gay black. You feel me? They put all the other. Black, uh, something with the Mexicans, uh, something. <laughs> it was crazy. I'm like, y'all just, we got to peel it back one more level. Okay, so, because you guys trying to include everybody in there. No, stop with the colors. Keep your color crown. We're Israelites in America. And everybody know it except those who are the Israelites. And I would understand if it was 50 years ago when information and technology and facts and archaeology and scientific information wasn't out. Okay. But the last poll I saw, close to 2 million Israelites are awake in America. And if they gave the poll at 2 million, you know it's probably 5 to 10 million because you already know how we are about our business. We don't keep everybody in it. So I'm pretty sure... It's way more than that that's awakened that they're not going to say anything about. And they're going to try to keep us away from each other. Whatever. So trying to tell people who we are, we pass that. We pass that. There's way too many people keeping feasts. Way too many people keeping Shabbats. And way too many people get rid of Christmas trees. When you see, quote unquote, black people get rid of Christmas trees. You don't even understand. When black people, black. Not Israelites. When black people give up. Thanksgiving turkey? Man. When you see black people give up Easter egg hunting? Are you kidding me? We didn't get that back? When you see black people not Christmas shopping? And we're the largest consumers on earth? That's a problem. Ain't nobody ever Ain't nobody ever gave back hella day except the Israelites. Man, that's another post right there. Ain't nobody else, ain't nobody else on this earth that were commanded not to celebrate hella dates except the Israelites. 
Yah spoke to his people. His people. Don't do all that. Don't cut, cut down a tree. No, don't put no, don't deck it with silver and gold. Hey, Yahoo, go tell them what I told you. All right, I'm going to go tell them. And what we do, man, I'm about to get the biggest tree. Man, I went down, down, down there to uh, the city of black last week. They had these black Christmas trees. I got me a black Christmas tree. Can you believe that, man? If you don't sit down somewhere. Right, pork. Man, that pork right there, that's right, sweetheart. We couldn't, boy. <sighs> that pork chop, that was, ee! that one right there was, it, it, it was it was a it was a challenge, but it was it was successful, you know what I'm saying? Praise Yah for His power. So look, Shabbat's here, but the our menorahs is getting lit. You know, I ain't did a video in a while. I just want to talk to y'all. I love y'all. I hope all is well. Be your brother's keeper. Be your sister's keeper. Keep the commandments of the Most High. Keep the Shabbat. Listen to me. You seek first the kingdom and His righteousness. Everything will be added unto you. Stop calling yourself black because you're not black. See, I wish we really had elders. And um, the Most High really hasn't really got to that point with our people yet. That could think on this level. And I'm not saying I just think way above everybody. There's some wise people out there. We have to tap into our leaders and say, hey, bro, I know you did that little black panel. But can you direct me to the country of black, please? And show me where that's at. I already know I got lost in Africa, America. I couldn't find exactly where that's at. But you said there's a place called black because black people must come from the country of black. Where's that at? Since you don't know where it's at, I'm going to need you to stop saying that's who we are. Yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah, please. And Because it, stops, it starts from up here. But preachers say it. Teachers say it. Leaders so now we understand it has to happen at the grassroots. And I want you, my brother, and you, my sister, to start practicing. Nah. Ain't no black vote. It ain't no black dollar. Because we ain't black. You need to let go of our inheritance. Our inheritance is bigger than any reparations package. You feel me? It ain't made on the fiat system. It ain't made by man's hands. Hallelujah. And when your most high place you in his hands, can't nobody, nobody take you out of it. Hallelujah. We are in the hands of Yah. We don't need nothing from you. What we need to do is come together as one nation of people under Yah. See, once we start listening to Moshe about what Yah said, that's when the miracle showed up. That's when the power showed up and that's when their system failed. It did not come because you didn't vote. It didn't come because you had some type of protest and you burned down a few buildings that's about to be rebuilt with your money. It didn't come by you kicking and screaming. It came for us kneeling and repenting to the Most High Yah. And we gave him a promise that we were going to keep his feast. And we gave him a promise that we were going to keep his commandments. And then we broke him. That's a cold-blooded, that's a cold-blooded situation, man. That's a cold-blooded video. That's a cold-blooded situation, man. And I pray that you listen to this right now. Listen to me very carefully. To my brothers. When I first woke up, you know, I was excited. I mean, who, who won't be excited when you find out the truth and you verify the truth and you verify the truth and you verify you're like, man, you're excited, but you got to calm that excitement down. You got to calm it down and you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to understand the master plan. You got to ask the most high to show you the master plan. And he'll give it to you little by little as you ask and as you grow. While the biggest thing I encourage you to do, my brothers, is lead your family in the, in the ways of being a blessing and a miracle in somebody's life. Follow me. Take care of your household. Take care of your wives. Take care of your children. Take care of the spiritual matters. Do the best you can. 
Don't give up. Fight every day. The fight is every day. Be able to understand that as you grow, remember to be a blessing to somebody. <laughs> what bothered the most, I'm going to finish with this right here. So, there's two times, well, two of the times that the Most High healed somebody who was in the synagogue on a Shabbat. Follow me. I think Mark 3 is the first one and Luke 11 was the other one. I just, I can't, I know Mark 3 was one of them. I believe Mark 3 was when he healed the guy, uh, the guy with the um, <clears throat> messed up hand. He didn't even touch him. He just said, stretch your hand out. He wasn't teaching it. He was just in the synagogue. He wasn't teaching. But when he healed the blind person, he was actually teaching and he stopped the service. I was like, hold on a minute. Wait, man, come here. Let me holler at you. In front of everybody, he called this guy up in the middle of him preaching. And he's talking to him. He heals him and whatnot. And they got, and they, and they got, and they, of course, they got mad and he was healed. Why am I talking about that? Because in the very place where people should be paying attention and helping people, these churches, there's people that's sick and disabled right by them and nobody's helping them. Is that a cat? Y'all see that cat? Cat better back up. I'm going to kick him to the country of black. <laughs> anyway, so my point is we can't be walking past our brothers and our sisters. Seeing their issue of blood, seeing their issue of handicap, seeing their issue of blindness, seeing their issue, come on, y'all, you get it, of lame and leprosy, seeing their issue and turning a blind eye. Shame on you, shame on me, shame on all of us, because we forgot to be our brother's king, uh, keeper, which was the first sin. Uh, that caused murder. Murder. Man, he was like, Cain was like, man, so am I my brother's keeper? Yeah, you your brother's keeper. Where are you at? Oh, so you would rather kill your brother because of the situation. And we've been killing each other ever since. We have to be our keepers. We have to be able to have shalom, peace, and help one another and stop ignoring it. And I'm telling you right now, I'm saying it as a living witness in my life who was someone who preached it but not, did not do it. We have to be able to be a blessing to our brothers and sisters, man. That is how we come together and that's how we break the back of black. You start acting like an Israelite, you're not acting like a black person. Yeah, you may call me black, but I know I'm not black. You just don't know me. Get it? And the only way... People get to know the new you. You have to behave like the new you. Hallelujah. Well, worship has started in the house. I got to go check everybody out. Anyway, uh, let's see who's all on. I got in the comments here. Yeah, I'm going to do more videos. I got a lot of br videos, brother. You know, I pray to you. Um, no, I can't go inside because that song will block out my words because it's licensed. Um, anyway, um, I got a lot of videos, man, on uh, Facebook. If you're checking my albums underneath photos, click photo, check out uh, albums, and then go to videos. Man, I got like, I don't know, two, three hundred videos. Then I got a, um, a YouTube page called Pete the Messenger. You know, I would love to do a lot of videos, man, but I'd be busy. You feel me? I'm, uh, I'm in commercial real estate, so... I got like 7 million square foot of commercial real estate that I manage. You feel me? Assets, you know, big warehouses, like big Amazon type buildings and stuff like that. So my week be crazy. I don't be having time to do videos anymore. And, you know, there's some things I'm trying to do with my family, man. We're trying to get up out of this place, you know, and um, so I don't really have time, you know. And then Shabbat, Shabbat, I'm, I'm, I'm shutting down. And then on Sunday, it's family time. You feel me? So it's like, 
then I got to have my time and time with my woman and my kids. So it's like, I wish I could do videos. So we pulled away because we we're doing so many videos, you start forgetting the people around you. You feel me? Here it is. You on Facebook so much and you're on social media and doing all these videos that the love you should be showing are people that's 10 feet away from you. You feel me? And that's where, it's, that's where a lot of our people are missing it. They spend so much time trying to get attention <laughs> that they're losing it somewhere else. So balance yourself, man. Know how to balance. Know how to balance yourself, man, and keep yourself where you need to be, man, and even keel. Make sure you ain't going too far to the right, to the left, and you just keep yourself balanced. That's the only way somebody go take you serious because, you know, as we progress as a people, when they see our progress, that's when they go start asking questions. Because, see, I don't need to be at no daggone protest or some kind of march or anything like that to make a difference in my community. I don't need to be at no church or taking these false messages from these false priests to make a difference for my brother and my sister. I don't need to post it. I don't need to do nothing. What I need to do, listen, is to be, <laughs> is to do my reasonable service, to be a living sacrifice unto Yah and to be blessed my brothers and my sisters. Listen. We pass from this life to the next by how we love the brethren. We pass from this life into the next by the way we love our brothers and sisters. The Most High is not letting people who hate their brother and hate their sister, sister into the kingdom. It's not going to happen, y'all. Okay, so, you know, Shabbat Shalom. Peace be unto you. And remember something. Shabbat Shalom. Rest, peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. It's funny how our people say rest in peace I mean, rest in peace, R.I.P., but they're really saying Shabbat Shalom. Rest, the Sabbath is rest. Shalom, peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> rest in peace, Shabbat Shalom. Who would have ever thought that? Anyway, so hey, uh, bless y'all. Much love to you, man. Um, and I want you guys to stay focused. Be your brother's keep. Be a miracle in somebody's life. Do something for somebody. Our people, though. Hit Israel first. You go run across a young person, a young family, somebody you know, a cousin, a brother. Somebody go text you. They probably already hit you this week. Let this Shabbat be a time to where you recognize, like, man. Oh, let me call. What's the name? I heard somebody got shot last week or somebody was in the hospital. Let me use this time to call and pray and be a miracle because somebody thought I wouldn't know they were ready to commit suicide. But they but you called them and you stopped them and or somebody is feeling depressed on the Shabbat. But here it is. You called them and said some encouraging words and you brought Shalom to somebody who was depressed on the Shabbat. That's what the Shabbat is for. Or you realize that, hey, man, you got five extra loaves of bread in your in your kitchen you're in your cupboards right and such and such lost his job last week man go over there and drop it off you go let somebody die or of starvation because this is shabbat i didn't say go to the marketplace i said go help your brother you get what i'm saying don't be so religious to where you forget the fact that somebody's struggling right now man people be struggling you just don't know how people how close people are from killing themselves our people strong people so you got to use this time to reflect and say, man, thank you, y'all, for allowing me to have what I have. Thank you, y'all, for covering me and protecting me even in this time, in this captivity and during this uh, plague time and blessing me with enough and maybe even more than enough to where I could be a blessing to somebody. I got to find somebody to bless. And you ain't going to be no fake preacher. I'm going after my people. I'm doing what your host did. He was in a daggone synagogue, people in there sick and everybody ignoring him. He's like, wait a minute, stop. Stop the service. Hey, tell Tommy to get off the organ. Get off the organ, boy. Shut up. I need to do something. Come here. Come here. Healed. Something that they all had the power to do. But they didn't do it. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to be someone that's so Hebrew that you can't even lay hands on your brother and your sister or be, be there uh, to, to maybe text or even call somebody who may be waiting to hear your voice or your words of encouragement or a scripture or two or just lend an lend a, lend a ear? Do something more on the Shabbat. Be a miracle. If Yehoshua was a miracle, I'm raising my hand, I want to be a miracle. You understand what I'm saying? That's the, if he was persecuted for being 
for they have sinned, breaking the Shabbat, and he didn't break the Shabbat, well, then persecute me then too. Thou must not be doing something right. Hallelujah. All right, who's a... Uh... <sighs> Hallelujah. All right, uh, uh, Danino, Colion, bless you, Ak. Uh, may this be a blessing to you and your family. May you embrace the Shabbat and may you examine yourself, my brother, and you continue to press toward the mark and you do what the Most High called you to do. You don't waver from all that stuff. You you do what you said you're about to do, man. You do it to the max and you don't let yourself fall off and be your brother's keeper. And not only that, but iron sharpen iron. You know how to reach out, man, and get the encouragement that you need, too. Uh, Aaron, hey, I hope this gives you a good word of encouragement. But look, this this is far greater. This is far greater than the platforms that man has given us. We are a part of the, a divine kingdom connected to one another. Every time you see one of our people, the Most High shall prompt you to understand, hey, look out for them. Watch they back. See if you're going to be the one that's going to be the blessing to them today. Even people in your family. People need to see us doing something different. That's the only way things are going to change. You understand? It's like... Uh, Change, if you don't go looking for change, it ain't coming your way. You know what I mean? All praises to the Most High, yeah. All praises to the Most High, yeah. All right, y'all, share this video, man. Host a watch party. And um, uh, have, a, have a wonderful Shabbat, all right? All right, and get up in here real quick. Shalom. In times. Don't let Babylon break you. Don't let them break your soul. In time, in time, stay woke, it's going down. Yeah. We gonna wake up the tribes. How? Willing. What you cooking? Last days. Yeah, we about to wake up the tribes. Armageddon at the doorstep. Stay woke, it's going down. Babylon trying to break me, I need the Holy Spirit right now We about to wake up the tribes, spare not cry loud Yeah, yeah, we about to wake up the tribes In time, in time, stay woke, it's going down Babylon trying to break my soul, Holy Spirit come down We about to wake up the tribes, spare not cry loud Yeah, we about to wake up the tribes We in the truth, now they scared of us They knew that Jacob would rise